G'day folks, Uncle Nackers here. Hey, check out my snazzy new foldable step stool. What an absolute little ripper. I love it. Made from scrap wood and a couple of old hinges and for the total cost of 20 bucks, I'm absolutely stoked. And the handy bonus is, is that if you don't want to use it as a step stool, you can use it just as a stool or as an awesome home decor piece. Now by rights, this should be a pretty simple project. I'm just a bit concerned about how the whole folding mechanism is going to work and whether or not it's going to support my hulking Adonis type physique. <laughs> Don't wish to brag, but uh, back in the day, now this is going to be a scrap wood project as per usual and for the seat, all I'm using are these old scraps of hardwood flooring that I had left over from our house renovation. And for the legs, just some bits and bobs from a mangy old pallet that I found on the side of the road. Let's get cracking. Now for your benefit, I'm making two videos from the one project. Now this is a short version and the other one which I'll link to at the end of this video is the full blown tutorial, chock a block full of tips and tricks along with all the measurements and the angles and the dangles that you'll need to make this cracking little step stool. So do yourself a favour, it's well worth it. Now starting with the seat, this is what we've got. This is the underside and the boards are tongue and groove so they slot in together just like that and we'll glue and clamp these down a bit later on. Now the diameter for the circle for the seat is 320 millimeters which is a smidge larger than 11 and 3 quarters of an inch. That's not coming apart anytime soon. Let's give it 24 hours to dry. We'll come back tomorrow for stage two. There you go. That didn't turn out too bad at all. A bit of a sand and a bit of a polish, and I reckon this is gonna come up beautiful. Now I'll be cutting my circle out with my router, complete with my homemade circle cutting jig. But if you don't have this set up, don't panic. A jigsaw will do the trick nicely. And let's see what we've got. Look at that. A perfect circle. Beautiful. Now with the seat, because it's old hardwood, I found it a bit splintery. And let's face it, you don't want a splinter in your bum. So all I did was pull out the old tin of epoxy. I dug out all those nooks and crannies, filled those in with the epoxy, and we'll come back later and sand that back. Alrighty, let's make those legs. Oh yeah, before I forget, just very quickly, if you want to see more videos just like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button down below. Good stuff. Now starting with the front two legs of the step stool, fire up the old miter saw and cut those front stool legs to size. Speaking of stools, have you ever wondered why a milking stool only has three legs? I think it's because the cow has the udder, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Alrighty, I'll be off. So the door is, yep, got it, stop looking, under control. Now with the back set of legs, we're actually making a frame. And like the front set of legs, there's a few angles, but here we're also adding some halving joints, which should help tie and secure everything together. Beautiful. Now with those half lap joints all checked out, you can see how when you check out half of that material and half of that material, you finish up with a really smooth flat joint. Now we'll cut this excess off here and here later on, but for now I want to give this a quick sand and then we'll come back to glue and screw together. 
Now, if you're interested in following along with me with these projects, you can find all the tools I use in this video linked in the description box down below. So there's those back legs all done, and I have to say, they're looking pretty good. Now all we need to do now is to go back to those two front legs to cut the steps in. Now hopefully this tread should fit. There you go, that's beautiful. Spot on. Awesome. So there's those front steps all done and dusted and I have to say, I am absolutely stoked in how they turned out. Now, the next step, this is what I've been concerned about the entire time and that is attaching the hinges and seeing whether this thing actually folds up or have I indeed wasted an entire weekend. This is one of those times I wish I had a Japanese saw. And there you have it. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. And there you have it. That is a really nice round over. Love it. Now with the hinges, I'm using these 75 millimeter or three inch strap hinges, which are these guys over here. Now, these are going to set you back about five bucks a set. We'll need two sets, so all up around $10. Now one more quick job is we need to stop those legs from spreading apart and we also need those legs to work in unison. So I've got this bit of flat bar, metal flat bar, and I'll cut two of these at 420 millimeters, which is about 16 and a half inches, and I'll screw these to the legs of the step stool. Yeah, I'm not quite sure about the 400 pound load capacity, but it looks good and that's the main thing. Now there's one last job to do and that's to give this a couple of coats with a clear satin varnish and then come back for the two big tests. Will it hold my weight? Does it even fold? Or has this been an absolute total failure? Stay tuned. Right now, folks, it's the moment of truth. Test number one, does the step stool fold? Let's find out. Okay, here we go. I'm a little bit nervous. Now the principle is, is to put your fingers through the grip at the front, hold down at the back, then just lift and tilt, and check that out. That is awesome. Works like an absolute charm. Love it. Okay, time for the big one. Test number two. Will this little fella support my 220 pounds of 54 year old blubber? Let's give it a go. Step number one. Feels good. There you go. Tick. Step number two. Sorry about the view. Now, I hope I don't fall off. Check that out. What an absolute little ripper. And I've got to say, that is a big relief. I'm happy with that. Now, as well as being a very handy little step stool, I have to say that as a stool itself, it's actually very good. And just between you, me, and the fence post, it's really comfortable as well. I think I need a beer after all that. 
Now, as I promised earlier, for the easy to follow step-by-step -step tutorial of this project, click on my video over there. And if you wanna see more projects just like this one, make sure you click on my favorite top three scrap wood projects, which should be over there as well. Well worth a look, and I hope to see you there shortly.